So you do have a plan. Now, all jokes aside, I think it's it's worth saying that you know Boxrec. Yeah, I know you guys hate Boxrec, but Boxrec has Chisora ranked seventh. He's in front of Hunter. He's in front of Ruiz. He's in front of Joyce, Wallin, Dubois. And in fact, the people that are like, that have beaten him, we've got like number one, who's Usyk. Usyk's beating him. We've got number two, Fury. We've got number five, which is White. Number six, Parker. So like, taking that into consideration, if you were Chisora, would you quit? You're still ranked seventh, blood. You know, and it's top boys that are beating. You still got a lot of food below you. Why would you stop? But yeah, is but... the problem though, I was going to say, is the problem not no, that he's not fighting people he can beat. He's fighting people who are going there to test themselves, but then hurt him in the ring. Agreed. And um, simply because of the age factor and because he has been around the block um, a long time. I mean, he's on his, what, how many fights has he had now? Uh, don't mistake me, it's... I know he's had like 11 losses, I know that. Well, exactly. Um, and that's a lot of losses <laughs> considering that somebody wants to actually... Because him himself, he wants to be a contender for the for a belt. So irrespective of people just keep saying, oh, he's a prize fighter and he's just a cat. Yes, we know this, but he really wants a belt too. He's not just there to collect a paycheck. And uh, with it, with it, I, I personally believe so, but that's what I heard. And judging by his, um, judging by his track record, and this last fight, you honestly have to say to yourself, you know what, I can't see you getting any closer to be up there challenging mm. for a belt. So with that, I would say, you know what, you've got to, you've got to kind of hang it hang it up, man, because you're just there with the numbers. I hear that. Uh, so on, on number of fights, it's 44 fights he's had and it's 12 losses he's had. And for 12, me, you, you said he's, he wants a belt. I think the only belt you're looking for is a Gucci belt. But listen... <laughs> <laughs> on the other side, we had Joseph Parker, who was the previous champ. Was he was a WBO champ previously? I believe. Yeah, some uh, some alphabet boy belt. Some alphabet boy belt, as you said, right? I think it was the yeah, it was the former. Yeah, it was the former WBO, 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 WBO heavyweight champ. So, with that in mind, yeah, and his performance against against Chisora, I mean, he's beaten him twice now. Mm. Do you think he could avenge his losses to obviously the guy who took the belt from him, AJ, and? Of course, uh, Dillian White to beat him. Riddler. It depends on what AJ would turn up, isn't it? What AJ are we talking about? Um, I, 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 I thought that Parker put on a decent performance. Um, He's looked big and dangerous, bro, in his yeah, last looked, few fights, man. He did, he did. He looks big and dangerous, and he looks like a, since he's joined with his new uh, trainer as well. He, he, I don't know, he's got a different savory. It's Andy Lee, isn't it? It's Andy Lee. Yeah, yeah. He's, he's got a different, uh, you know, he's got that warrior spirit in him that, that yeah. he looks sharp, and he looks like he doesn't want to muck about and play any games anymore. But to answer your question directly, I think it's still a 50 50 with uh, White. And I, to be honest with you, I think White's got his number. Um, with AJ, it really depends on what AJ comes out. But judging by that last performance, mm, I would say that Parker could give him a run for his money, you know? Yeah, man. I think I think AJ looked a bit confused and timid in his last couple of fights, if I'm honest with you. Um, Pulev, we saw the... No, nah, let's take no, it back. Ruiz. No, no, but he, there was an element of a bit of confusion and not being too aggressive in the clinches. He looked a bit, a bit mm. weird. Ruiz, he just looked like a, like he was doing the running man. And against Usyk, you know, he, I don't know what he was trying to do, but it didn't work out. So, you know, I think, like I said, Parker looked big and dangerous, man. And you know, let's 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 have it real. Let's have it right in it. Um, in AJ versus Parker, the first time, a lot of people were saying that the ref helped Park, um, AJ by not allowing him to engage uh, Parker to engage in the inside. So. I don't know, man. I, I think Parker's got him. And I think, like you said, Riddler, him and White's a 50-50, man. You know, White, you know, Parker almost beat White. You know, you've got to remember that White uh, White was hanging on for dear life. Literally yeah. hanging on to yeah. the ring for dear life. Um, but then at the same time, Parker got knocked down in the first 30 seconds in the first fight against Chisora. So it is 50-50, man. I would like to think that White's a better fighter than 
you know, that performance that he had with Parker. To be fair, I think he's improved. Okay, okay. You two settle down with your nonsense takes, man. Jesus Christ. <laughs> we can see bias is such a real thing, man. I mean, I have to be quiet to listen to you guys talk for like, what, a minute and a half talking about this. <laughs> Bloviating and talking about this nonsense. What are you talking about? Let's, look, we watched that fight. He fought against Chisora and he couldn't finish his lunch. I mean, there's no way if he's fighting someone like AJ. And look, Reese's advice is a thing. And yes, AJ lost to Usyk. And I think Usyk beats Parker. I think I think Usyk's just... I was the one who was calling him pumped up cruiserweights. And listen, I'm happy to be wrong and say, you know what? He's he's very skilled and he's big enough to, to trouble the heavyweight division. Maybe not Fury, right? So, but him fighting AJ... Fred, did, you see, did you see him and Fury next to each other? At no, the, they, um... they, they almost look as, as tall as each other. It's weird, isn't it? Yeah. Anyway, Fury's got, got their platform, platforms on. But, <laughs> <laughs> but on the, yeah, but going back to what I was saying, right? With, with AJ, like, I don't think he's dominant enough. And also, another thing is his gas tank didn't look that great against Chisora. And this is a Chisora that was, that was wounded. And I yeah. still think that... With that in mind, I mean, AJ ain't got the best gas tank, we know that. But I think AJ is bigger, stronger than Parker is. And if is he, though? I think he's bigger than strong. Oh, he's bigger, definitely. Stronger. We yeah, can't, bigger. We can't, really measure, we can't really measure that unless we're taking a punch from both of them. In reality, but I, I don't want to be in that. <laughs> to want to do that test. Fair enough. But, but yeah, I, I don't see that. And then with White, I mean, White struggled against, <laughs> against old man. Uh, what's his name? <laughs> Povetkin, Povetkin, Sasha. He he struggled against him, right? Every time he, he struggled against Chisora, when Chisora and he beat him, in, you know he got a flash knockout. Knockout. Let's be real. Sometimes I think we we put White up to a level that he really isn't at. And I think Chisora could beat. Him. I mean, not Chisora could beat him. I think Parker would beat him. 